Hello my fashion babes and welcome back to my channel. The baby is still here. I am 40 weeks pregnant and um, the baby does not want to come out. On Monday I will be 41 weeks pregnant and um, we are waiting for his arrival. But in the meantime, I'm feeling great, so I'm gonna film another video. This is a very, very, very interesting video because you loved my previous one on the Hermes Constance full, full, full review. So in this video, one year has passed since I bought the Constance. I wanna do a video where I share with you one year review of the Hermes Constance wear and tear, but I wanna compare it as well to a new Constance that I just got. So if you're interested in knowing uh, how a Constance looks like after one year of wearing it all the time, how the leather expanded, the price difference between last year and this year, what fits inside of the bag, pros and cons. Basically, if you're planning to buy an Hermes Constance bag, but you're not 100% sure yet, this video is definitely going to help you know if this bag is for you or it's definitely not for you. I did a video and I'll link it up here where I talked about the Hermes Constance bag in full review, the sizes, uh, history about it, the different colors, the different sizes, everything. So if you wanna know more of these kind of details, go ahead and watch that video. Even though the Hermes Constance is not a quota bag in Hermes, it is one of the three main bags of the brand. We have the Birkin, the Kelly, and the Constance. And it's maybe not equally as hard to get as the Birkin or the Kelly, but it's also very, very hard to get. You cannot just walk into a store and be like, hi, I'd like to have a Constance bag. It doesn't really work this way. You need a purchase history, you need to have your essay, and only after you can get it. So it is indeed a special bag on its own. And if you're new to my channel, well, consider subscribing if this is the kind of content that you like. I have two Instagram accounts, Krisha and Krisha Style. Before I dive into all the Hermes and Constance, I have been wearing this ear cuff for so long and every time I go somewhere everyone is obsessed with my ear cuff so basically I just combine it with all of my earrings now I combine it with this Cartier earrings and I added it here and everyone is crazy about it I don't have different piercings in my ear just one here and one here because I am a little bit you know scared that I might get bored of them I might not enjoy them later on in my life so now I'm just wearing these ear cuffs because I don't want you guys to be curious. I'm going to tell you where I got it from. It is a brand that I already shared with you, a brand that I absolutely really love, a brand that I highly recommend in case you want to buy gifts or in case you want to buy jewelry for yourself. It is called Ideal. You might have heard about it because right now it's quite of a popular brand. I mean, many people are wearing it. And if you haven't, well, definitely check it out because you will love it. And because it's never, too much of this brand. I ordered some new pieces that I waited to unbox with you. All of their pieces are made of 14 karat gold. They will not oxidize, they will not discolor. You can wear them all the time. They are lab grown diamonds, which makes diamonds more sustainable. They sparkle like real diamonds though. Another one of their main features is the fact that they are pieces that you can combine. So this is honestly, this is my favorite part about it. I have this cuff, right? And I'm adding it with my Cartier earring. I have these two necklaces and I'm adding them with another necklace of mine. You buy the studs once and then you only have to buy the different add-ons and you can combine them however you want and let loose to your imagination and to your personality. They come at a fair price because if you're planning to buy real diamonds, the cost is gonna be so much higher. Something special, love it. Can't wait to see it on you. I love their packaging, really, it's so beautiful. All of the products are gonna be linked in my description down below, so you have the link for all of the pieces that I'm going to present to you from Ideal. Look at the beautiful pieces. I got another ear cuff, two add-ons, and a necklace. I have quite a few add-ons. You can go so crazy and be so creative and you will not have the same style as someone else that purchased the same add-on as you because you can just be yourself. And I added two add-ons. I have the cuff and I have this part and then the stud. And then this year I added two add-ons. I have this one and this one and the stud. So you can really create something very particular and cool. Now that I showed you my pieces of jewelry, 
we're gonna head over to what you clicked on this video for the Hermes Constance review one ear wear and tear versus the new bag this is the new bag I did a very proper unboxing if you want to see it I'll link the video as well and this is it in black with palladium hardware it is a Constance mini size 18 in Epsom leather and over here we have the Constance that I bought a year ago mini 18 as well in gold hardware Epsom leather as well and um, in a tube color first of all let's take a look at how the bag looks like after one year I'm looking to see if there's any scratches on it I have been wearing it really a lot and I didn't really care um, that it could stretch out so I really stuffed everything I had to stuff inside of it and to be very honest it is much more spacious than I thought it was going to be at the very beginning when I bought it one year later the leather itself has absolutely no scratch at all so we could say that none of these parts are going to scratch as you can see that they're rounded the only little problem is the hardware it did scratch not a lot but there are a few scratches i don't know if you can properly see it like here i don't know if you could if you can really really tell but there you go it is kind of scratched when you open the bag i kept um, the little air bag inside of it and you can see that it's stretched out a lot if you compare it to the new one that i just got a few months ago already from the side you can see this one is much thinner than this one <sighs> i mean i did change the shape of the one that's one year old you see this one has a little bump in the back and the new one is very very straight so if you are planning to use your constance bag a lot and stuff it in with all of your items do know that its shape its original shape is going to change but then again you know you want to use it you want to have a practical bag so to be very honest it doesn't bother me at all it's just a bag that has been used the one that's new well First of all, it smells like new and as I said it's much thinner and if you open it the clasp is much 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 harder to open so I mean you see like I'm having a hard time opening the clasp okay there you go and inside you can see that the pocket is also thinner Oh, hello, they added a mirror. I didn't see this. The other one did not have a mirror. Well, let's see the interiors. Maybe they're a bit different. I wanted to show you the clasp of this one. Closes, immediately it opens. Okay, I just saw a new difference of the inside of the bags. So the Constance I bought one year ago has a little tight pocket here, this big one, this other pocket, and then over here, a very long one but the new one on the other hand has the pockets in here the same the same everything the same but then they changed this side of the bag where you have instead of the very long pocket now you have a small one where they added a mirror it's not coming all the way from the front to the end of the bag I really love the black. I think the disadvantage of the black one is going to be the fact that you're going to see your fingers everywhere and if you have makeup on, you know, the black is going to uh, to be a little bit more delicate than the etoupe. The pros and cons of this bag. A big pro of it is that it is very comfortable. You have this strap that you can wear double or you can make it longer and attach it so it is very, very flexible and I think you can also put a strap inside or both straps inside and wear it as a little clutch. If 
I'm not mistaken, I have to work on that though. You can wear the bag crossbody, which is super, super, super comfortable. Now it's on my bump, but it's honestly really great. Otherwise, you can wear it on your shoulder. If not, you can also double the strap and wear it doubled on your shoulder or in your hand, just like this. So it is very versatile. It's a bag that you can wear during the day, during the night. It is very, very modular. Another pro is the fact that it is very spacious. You wouldn't tell, but there's a lot of things that fit inside and I will show you later on in this video. Very, very spacious. It is a very durable bag. I mean, the leather is Epsom, so it's supposed to be hard, but it is still very flexible and durable and it doesn't change its shape to the point where it's bothering. A Birkin that changed its shape, for example, is bothering because it's gonna fall, it's not gonna stay in its position, but this one, okay, it has a little bump in the back, but that's about it. And to be honest, it is much more durable than I thought it could be. Another pro for it is the fact that it is a good Hermes investment because the value is just going to increase over time. And if you do want to sell it, you can sell it for more than what you bought it. It is Hermes. It is a classic bag. It is a bag that many people want. To continue on the cons of the bag, I think the clasp in time could, could, be damaged. I see how this one is opening up so much easier now than the new one. And I'm worried that in time, and this is only after one year, like after one year, it's super easy to open, as you can see. So I'm worried that in more time, you know, the more you open it, the more you close it, maybe the clasp can actually break or something can happen to it. We'll see, I'll have to wear it for much longer. Also, now when I'm wearing it, sometimes it does open by itself. You know, if you touch something very quickly, it could end up opening by itself, which is a bit annoying. You don't want that from your bag. Another con of it is that on the sides, the bag is open. So if you have small things inside of your bag and uh, you put it somewhere and you, you do this with it, uh, your items are going to fall. So it is not the most secure bag for small pieces that you want to fit inside of it. I know you're all curious about the price and um, let me shock you. So this one I got last year, okay, in the same store as I got this one. And the price was 5,850 euros. This year, so one year later, let me take out the ticket. The same exact bag, because it has palladium hardware, but it doesn't change. So sa constance. Mini Vu Epsom Noir. Are you ready? 6,700. This is mind blowing. The price increased by 850 euros in one year. And uh, well, you have a bag that is now worth much more than it did a year ago, which is the great thing about Hermes bags. They always go up in price. Another change that is not very visible from last year to this year is where the Hermes sign is written. You see here you have it on the side and on the one from one year ago you have it in the middle. The con that I talked about last year in terms of scratching the leather over here because of your nails and the clasp. Well now I don't have nails because I'm waiting for the baby so <clears throat> chop them off completely. Uh, was not a real con because guess what I had nails until now and I kept on opening and closing it and honestly if you pay attention and you open it like this and not with your nails it didn't scratch at all so that is not a con even though I mentioned a year ago that it could be I also said that the inside of the bag because it is very very soft leather it's going to scratch and it did but not a lot they're just like a few small scratches. So it is very, very resistant. If I would have to add another pro to the bag, it is very resistant. It seems like this bag has more pros than cons. I'm trying to think about like cons for it, but it's quite hard. I mean, it's a very good bag. Let's see what fits inside both of them. Um, Kleenex. This one is super easy. My wallet, sunglasses, keys. Put them here. 
lip balm. Uh, I'm gonna take my ideal jewelry pouch, fits as well. Honestly, and there could be much more that could fit inside of it. As you can see, the more you put, the more it stretches out, but it doesn't bother me. So I do tend to use it a lot like this, very much like a little balloon. I wouldn't buy the bigger size because I still like the small size. I feel like it's very, very cool. And another pro about this bag is that it's not heavy at all. So it's very easy for you to wear it and stuff it up and there's no problem at all. Now let's see if everything that I put in this bag also fits in the one that is new, that I haven't used at all. So it's not stretchy at all, but look inside here, it's full and you still have some space to like stuff it up a bit more if you really want to. Okay, the new one, already the clasp, uh, much harder. Maybe this is why the clasp of the other one is also so much um, easier to open because um, maybe I stuffed it up too much. I don't know, let's see. Wallet, uh, sunglasses, keys. And to be honest, I don't want to stuff anything more inside of it because it's just so cute and nice. But for the sake of the video, I will try just to see if they fit or not. For now, everything fit. Let's see, it's a big piece. It fits as well, but because the bag is not stretched at all yet, I don't know, you can push it and force it, but it breaks my heart to do it and it doesn't reach here and I'm not gonna do that at all. A bag that has been worn for a year, mini Constance 18 can definitely fit more than a bag that is new. So the leather does stretch a lot. Depends on how you want. Maybe I'll keep on this one without stretching it as much. It's just so nice. I just realized that I got another neutral color from Hermes when I really really wanted a bag that was colorful so that I can wear during summer but to be honest I really wanted the palladium hardware and the black because it just works with everything and it's super easy going so happy and I cannot wait to start wearing the bag because to be honest I haven't been wearing it at all until now I was waiting to film this video for you I have to admit that the bag after one year is still in an impeccable shape and I wear it a lot Meaning that I highly, highly recommend that you purchase a Constance bag and also it can help in your purchase history afterwards for you to be able to get the Birkin or the Kelly. This was it for this comparison video. I hope you liked it. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Well, me, the baby and the two Constance bags are saying goodbye. Bye guys.